Hello doers and welcome back. My name is Jose Ignacio. Now today I'm going to show you how to perform an inventory adjustment, AKA an inventory audit right inside of the barcode app. It's super straightforward. We walk around our warehouse, scan a couple products with one of our little tools like this, and we record the number directly. It makes sure our records reflect exactly what we have in our stock. And that sounds pretty cool. So enough chit chat, let's get right into it. So first things first, to use the barcode app to its full potential, we're gonna be using it with inventory. So let's go inside of the inventory application and configuration and settings. Now I want you to make your way over to the barcode section right here. Let's make sure the barcode scanner is enabled by going to make sure that it's checked off. Great. Now up next, we're gonna go all the way down to the warehouse section over here. And would you look at that? We need to make sure that storage locations is enabled. Once that we do that, we hit save over here. This allows us to keep track of specific storage locations for products in the warehouse, which makes products easier to find. Once that you're done with all this, we're ready to go. So speaking of locations, let me show you how to set barcodes on locations. So in Odoo, we need to scan the location before selecting the product that we're counting. This tells Odoo that we found the product in this location and ensures that the product is actually physically there and not anywhere in the warehouse. Okay, so to do that, once again, we're gonna go up to the configuration menu and select locations this time, baited you. Now, these are all the storage locations that I have over here in red. So today, I know we're definitely going to be counting products in shelf one, so let's open that up right there. Now, inside of the barcode field that we have down here, I think it's time for us to give this a name, or in this case, a denomination, shelf one. And just like that, we've set a location barcode for the shelf, easy peasy. Now that we're done with our settings, let's start our inventory audit, shall we? So let's pretend that it's the end of the quarter. As the warehouse manager, it's time to get my employees to double check that my physical stock level matches what appears in my database. So to do that, I'm gonna go up here to operations and once again, physical inventory. Now here we see a list of every product we have in our inventory along with their storage locations. We can actually click on the check boxes that we have up here over here by location and it'll select everything. But for now, I think I'm gonna uncheck that because there's a lot of stuff and it's going to different places. I'm just gonna select the products that I see that are over at shelf one. So let's go over here and select those ones. And there we go. Now up next, I'm gonna select the request account over here and we get a little pop-up. So for over here, we have our inventory date and that's the selected date of the count, which I'm gonna leave to today. Now up next, I'm gonna set myself as a user, Mr. Producer. Then in the count field, we're gonna select leave empty so the person counting has to manually fill in the number they counted. The other option is set current value, which sets the count to the product's actual current on-hand quantity. If that were selected, then the person counting would just have to click validate. Either way, the employee will be able to see the on-hand quantity on their barcode screen. So we're gonna actually keep it on leave empty, and then once we're done with that, confirm it. Now we're ready to do the fun stuff. When we open the barcode app, the number that we are gonna see when we go out of here inside of there is going to be the inventory adjustments. And this button right there basically allows us to see the number of items that are assigned for counting. So let's tap inside of there. And there's quite a bit right there. We can tell that the counts are grouped by storage location. Items that are highlighted over here in green basically have the count set to the current value because that specific option was selected in the request account pop-up for these items over here. Notice all of our shelf one items otherwise have actually had no numbers counted right there. Alternatively, that is because we set leave empty inside over there. Now these items inside of shelf ones are the ones that I kind of need to go see. So not to break the fourth wall here, but let me take you on a quick office tour. All right. Let's go. All right, now that I'm here, I'm gonna first scan our location barcode over here, which is gonna highlight all of the products on shelf one. Now, since I've shown you in my previous barcode video how to scan product barcodes and also how they work, I'm just gonna quickly breeze through and scan these products. So the very first one is, I'm gonna scan the Odoo cards over here. And then once that I do that, I'm gonna count the number of cards and input the quantity of 20 right there. Oh wow, we actually counted more than we expected. It looks like we thought we only had 15 cards. So up next, 
I think I should scan post-it. And I counted five, so we're gonna input five. Great, it's getting pretty straightforward. But I think it's time for me to show you a helpful tip. If the number of counted items matches the recorded number in the database, you don't have to scan the item and then manually record the amount. So to speed things along, I'm just gonna tap on the empty checkboxes next to both reams of paper and stapler as well. And you don't actually have to worry. I already counted all of these off screen. That's it. We're actually pretty much done here. And that's all the items on shelf one. But now to my coworker who counted the items at the other locations, is the current recorded quantities correct? Yeah, yeah. All right, awesome. Now that I know that, I'm gonna tap on the apply button at the bottom and we're good to go. Another inventory audit in the books. Woo! High five, high five. Ah, he doesn't see me. All right, that's it for this video. I just ran back over here. And as you just saw, it was super quick to perform stock counts using Odoo barcode. Thanks for tuning in, Odooers. Until next time.